Hello, you're watching a Unipro Eugene podcast. Here we discuss the hottest topics introduced by our users and show some helpful tips for using Eugene, a free cross-platform genome analysis suite. In this video, we'll show you a brief overview of the new features of Eugene 1.14. One new useful thing is the help system embedded into Eugene. In each dialog, you will now find a help button. Click this button if you want to read the corresponding online documentation about the dialog. The new documentation is based on the Atlassian Confluence system, which makes the documentation more useful than the previous version. For example, you can search for the required information using the system. It is now possible to mark a sequence in Eugene as circular. The sequence must be stored in the GenBank format if you want this mark to be saved between different Eugene sessions. Making a sequence circular affects how a pattern is searched in the sequence. So, if the sequence is circular, results located over the end start junction of it are also found. Another feature for plasmids is auto annotation of the plasmid features like promoters, regulatory regions, primers, and so on. The Eugene Alignment Editor has been improved. It now provides the alignment overview. This feature is useful for watching the whole picture of an alignment and fast navigating to interesting regions. You can adjust the overview picture in both ways, viewed information, and look and feel such as graph type, orientation, and color. The consensus sequence of your alignment can now be exported. Select the corresponding options panel tab to do the export. Note that the consensus type can be selected on the general tab of the panel. Besides Bayesian inference and neighbor joining methods, there is a new algorithm for phylogenetic tree building in Eugene. The PhiML program has been integrated into Eugene as an external tool. The program provides building phylogenetic trees using the maximum likelihood algorithm. There is a new feature in the tree viewer. Right click on a node and choose the reroute item to change the root of the tree. Eugene will recalculate the distance scores automatically. The NGS data analysis area has also been improved in Eugene. The BWA MEM tool is available from the Align Sequencing Reads dialog. Also, there are several new utility elements in the workflow designer for working with NGS data. The elements help with executing different actions on BAM files such as sorting, merging, and filtering, fast queue files such as cassava trimmer and quality trimming, and others. Last but not least, Eugene provides a shared storage feature. Using it, you can easily share your bioinformatics data with your lab colleagues. Try this feature with the Eugene public storage that is available for free. See the details in another video. Thank you for watching the podcast.